Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you on how to build a large dividend portfolio in 2023. Now, 2023 just began. Uh, today is the 4th of January 2023. So many people are already making uh, goals for the year. But one of the goals that I think anyone should make that will better themselves is the goal about money. So you need to listen to this video, not too long, just about some minutes and then you're going to learn a lot how to build a large dividend portfolio in 2023 now if this is the first time you're coming to this channel please don't forget to hit the notification button and also subscribe to the channel you can leave comments about this video i will appreciate it So welcome back let's start off with the video and then see how it goes you know now what's the first tip i'm going to talk to you about you see a high performing portfolio is every investor's goal what is it that i'm going to put my money in that's going to perform very well for me so in this video i'll give you tips on how to develop your own objectives and strategies now listen carefully to this video just as a warning so this video is being done for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. I will advise that when it comes to money or anything that has to do with your personal finance, make sure you meet the people with the knowledge, skill, and experience, especially a financial advisor. So this is other things the bank does not want you to know. And this is not a get quick rich scheme. So we're going to be talking through. Now let's get on. So the first tip you need to know is determine what items or events you're saving for. What exactly are you saving for? It's not just to put the money in the bank. It's to find out for yourself or give yourself a target and say, okay, this is what I'm saving for. These are the items I want to buy. Items such as maybe you're thinking of retirement, you know, saving for your retirement, or you're saving for a new house, or you're saving for your children's education, or anything else you choose. Maybe you want to travel around the world at a particular age, or you just want to buy a house close to the beach, you know, or you just want to make sure that, you know, at a particular age in your life, you're not working for anybody. You're just okay living off the money that you've worked on, living off the investment you've worked on. So the first step is this. What exactly are you saving for? Is it a retirement, a new house, your children's education, anything else you choose? That should be your focus. Now, let's get on. So step number two, or I'll say secret number two that I'm going to tell you in this video is you need to determine when you want to retire. You need to determine when you want to purchase your house or when you want to send your children to college or university. So those are the things you really need to look at because if you don't give yourself a time specific goal you just find yourself you no know, you, there is no drive but if you say okay well this is the time i'm going to uh get into uh, i'm going to retire i'm going to buy my house i'm going to buy my yacht you know i'm going to travel around the world you give yourself a time so determine when you want to retire purchase your home or send your fam your children to college or university and then this the reason why you do that is that it will help you, you know, uh, decide on what percentage return you need to earn on your initial investment. Now, if you look at the world, I use initial investment because based on uh, how we're going to, by the time you go to the next slide, you can always at any time increase your investment. So to help you decide on what percentage return you need to earn on your initial investment, you need to think about what you want to invest on and how, when you want to start the investment which is very, very important. And then you need to decide how much money to invest. You need to, very, very important that you decide on how much money you want to invest. The reason for this, 
knowing uh, for you to determine how much money you want to invest is so that you do not sometimes people say you know say to themselves i want to build up my portfolio i want to invest a certain amount but the thing about it is that they've you know, neglected every aspect of their life you can't just say well i'm building up my portfolio i'm not going to have time for myself you should have time for your family have time for holiday you know it's something that you should plan but what you've done is this you've decided on how much you want to invest and because you've said this is the amount of mo money i want to invest you set up a direct debit or a standing order depending on what is comfortable for you and make sure that that amount comes out every month it comes out regularly you know so when you when you decide on that you are not really stressed out you're not bogged out with so many things like oh you know i put this money here and then there is not that um you know sometimes you're saving and then all of a sudden you now say okay well you know what i want to go back and dip into my savings no or dip into my investment no decide how much money you want to invest very very important no and then you, you now have to make sure that when you decide on how much money you want to invest make sure that whatever you can invest look at, like i said is comfortable enough for you keeping in mind that you can change the amount later so if you decide to say okay you know what i'm investing 100 pounds for example every month or every week you can decide to say okay you know what i'm going to increase it to 120 i'm going to increase it to 150 but start off somewhere that is comfortable for you very very important i'm telling you based on uh, my own experience the reason is because sometimes you, you've got this huge amount of money somewhere and then you put everything in without really thinking of what about your comfort what about your health what about your holidays what about other things so invest what you can comfortably afford now and keep in mind that you can change the amount later it's your own money you are the person that is investing so what's once that's determined, you now determine how much risk you're willing to take. Some people will say, you know what, I don't really mind how much risk I'm going to take. The reason is because if you live in UK, for example, the government gives us a tax-free ISA where you can put in some money to a certain amount every year that is tax-free. Now, some people might say, you know what, I don't want to take so much risk with my hard-end finance or hard-end money. I would rather put it in a cash ISA now, cash as cash, cash ISA is not risky, but inflation can affect it. Why some people say, you know what, I don't want to go into the cash ISA. What I want to do is I want to go into stock and shares or stock and bonds, and because it, it has it brings more uh, dividend or it brings more uh, interest, but the risk is high. So you must determine how much risk you are willing to take. Very very important. Because that will now, you know, you decide on what you want to invest on, how long it's going to be for, how much you want to put in. Now you're not determining how much risk you are willing to take. Very important. And then, you know, because just like I said, now some, some investment generate high returns, you know, but they are very risky. So they may be riskier than others. So you need to put that in mind when you are investing. Okay? So in, in getting to the end of this video, so we've looked at so many things, you know, when you want to invest, what you want to invest. Now, my tip number one for you is this. With less than £15,000 to invest, consider managed funds rather than individual shares so, so, that, you know, to, so that you diversify and then you balance. So always consider managed funds. That's why uh, sometimes you have some huge amount of money and it's okay well some people say you know what i can do the trading myself i can buy shares myself maybe from trading one to one or ig index not advertising them but think about a managed fund managed accumulative fund which is better because then you can just go and if you want to do that you can always leave a comment and i'll send you more information on how you can invest or consider uh, getting into managed funds rather than individual shares to diversify and the balance then another thing is this which is tip number two there are tax-free government bonds you know these usually generate lower returns 
but they and they pose less of a risk. It's very important. You no, know, carry out your research. Like I said before, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm doing this video as just for entertainment purpose. If you're going to do any financial investment or you're getting into any investment, my advice to you is to speak to a financial advisor who will help you work things out. Now, like I said before, this is... So welcome back guys so i've given you tip number one and I'm, this is tip number two tax-free government bonds usually generate lower returns but they have they pose less of a risk and if that's something that you feel that okay well i want to get into this it's something that i'm comfortable with you can always do that now just a few things before you go i hope you like this video i hope you like the video i hope you like what i've done just a few things before you go please Please subscribe to the channel and then ring the bell notification or ring the notification bell. You know, you subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscription is like the life of YouTube. And ringing the notification bell will help you know when I'm coming in. Then leave a comment about the video. You might say, well, it's not, it's not really done well or something you want me to do. Please leave any comment. I'll take it as a creative comment. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe once again to the channel. This is Coach OG here. You can like, you thumb up, you subscribe, and share the video. I want to say thank you so much for joining me here. Now, I will see you in the next video. All the videos that I will be doing here is just going to be about finance, about money, easy tips that you can use to get yourself quickly into uh, any situation that you want to get into. They're not going to be long, just about some minutes video. But I want to say thank you so much for joining me today on this uh, channel. And now please don't forget the how the, 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 the title of today's message uh, of the video is how you can build a large dividend portfolio in 2023. I'll be seeing you again and take care and all the best. Thank you very much for joining me here. Take care, bye for now.